What's up guys and welcome to this video. I'm Jake. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Jake. I'm Ethan. And this is Beyond STEM. Today we're gonna be showing you guys um we, this was um also before we start this video we would like to note that we were really sorry that we hadn't posted a video in a bit. We we'll we'll explain of, more of that at the end, especially. Um, because yeah, it, it got it got super complicated. But anyway, you guys want to see the video, so um so today we're gonna be showing you guys um how to make a buckyball. Basically, yeah. Um if you don't know what a buckyball is, a um, buckyball is it's um, it's also known as C60. Um, it's basically a molecule. It's um, on the nano scale. It's it's composed of uh, 60 atoms and 60 carbon atoms. Um, and it has and it's all forming 12 pentagons and 20 hexagons. Um, all in a very weird circle that kind of like it formed this. Weird. In a way, yeah. That this is the end that. result of what we're making. It's a so these thing. are all the hexagons, the or pe pentagons, pentagons and hexagons. hexagons. So pretty much, it's also known as C sixty. Yeah, scientists refer it all to. Um, and now it's a soccer ball. <laughs> <laughs> um, so uh, the scientist who actually discovered this, his name is Buck Minster Fuller. That's who. Um, that's what it was named after. And then I think the first name or something was Buck. Like Mr. Fullerene, and then people just now originated it as Buckyball because it's a bit shorter yeah. and stuff. And if you go online and you look up nano cars, if you see the little balls that they have on the end for each wheel, those are what are referred to as the Buckyballs. Also, there's a diagram for each of these parts. We'll link it in the description if we can. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, we're gonna go ahead. And get show right, you. right into the news. <laughs> We're gonna go ahead and show you guys get how right to into the news. <laughs> actually make one. So first, these are all the parts you'll need. You need one bottom part, one top part, and then the two side parts that go together. And tape. <laughs> yeah, tape to tape this all together. So first, I want to note these um, letters here. You want to make sure to match these always. C, they match up. C to C, B to B, you want to make sure. And A to A. So first, let's start off with these, the body. So this is the body. So what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna take the two B parts and just put them like that. And then take a little bit of strip of tape and then just cut it out like that. <clears throat> and then just kind of just put it together as like pretty much perfectly as you can, like perfectly straight so it'll actually look good. <clears throat> and just tape it like that. <clears throat> and then, these patterns, they're pretty much the exact same. You kind of fold them into like a like a little cover thing. You kind of like push them up and then fold them down. And then they kind of go like this in a way. It's like a little dome head kind of. And now that we've explained it, so you're not watching 10 minutes of a building process, we're going to speed it. Yeah. Ready? Hooray. Ready? And now you have a crown! Okay, it's, we have a soccer it's, ball it's, like it's thing. It's complete. It's, yeah, it's... So, we forgot to tell you this before. Okay. <laughs> um, um, you need to tape every time you find the letters, you tape them, and basically when you get your whole gray part completed, completed, which I refer to as the crown, um, you won't find any letters to attach them to. But instead of putting these hexagons in the little spaces here, you actually tape them so that you have holes in the middle, which are all the pentagons, and then everything that's connected is a hexagon. Yeah. Uh, da -da -ba -da. They get misshapen very easily. Yeah, because if you like make them weirdly, they kind of go different. Um, you can actually invert them into like this thing, like a like a freaking 
pancake or something or souffle. <laughs> yeah, it, it's a souffle. I, I don't know. <laughs> um, but so pretty much when you get to the pattern A, you know the little dome thing I we showed you. You just tape the two hexagons together for each side, and that's both on the bottom and top. Uh, um, and really, that's kind of how you just create a little buckyball of your own. <clears throat> yep. It's and really now, cool. for the rest of the video, we're going to explain more about what the buckyball pretty much actually is. Yeah, and... Besides, <laughs> besides, a uh, um... Stuff that we just said. Besides this model that now is really addicting to play with. Yeah, like, um, in our, in our, oh. <laughs> he just hit me in the head. Um, yeah, and... Uh, also, in in our other videos now, we're gonna create a trend where we just make a bunch of these and then we start throwing that and at then each other. throwing them at each other and we're gonna call it Bucky Time, um, cause that's also, not cringy. Um, <laughs> also, um, I would like to give a thanks to me and my um friend or uh, Ethan's yes yes yes, um, yes 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 <laughs> project lead the way teacher Mr Six because he actually gave us this idea and we created these in his yeah class. we uh, we did this in class and then he uh, so, he allowed us to take some of the papers home to do this so thank you to you my dude and now we are going to explain more about what these actually do in the real world on the nano scale okay so. Now that we have these buckyballs and their paper models that you can do absolutely nothing with, <laughs> um, we're going to explain to you what the real versions of them do. So, um, um, they're, they are molecules composed of 60 carbon atoms. Uh, I guess that's probably where they get the name C60. They kind of, um, in the real actual versions, they actually have individual dots between each joint of a hexagon and a pentagon they have so individual carbon basically joints. what what he means by that is every time on here you would see a corner yeah, like every one single one of those is an atom <clears throat> and <clears throat> the weird thing about this particular mo carbon molecule is um that it's this is a very rare shape to find any molecule then in and this this shape was actually created on accident between two scientists who are trying to um, study all of the different carbon molecules and they found these very long chains in space that are very particularly close to this one and he wanted to be able to study it more but obviously it was a while back and um, and they're in space <laughs> so they tried to find a natural way to recreate these molecule chains that they had found and they ended up with these. All right, there, the atoms, each individual atom is actually held together with some sort of like magnetic bond because a lot of atoms are particularly attracted to each other. <laughs> um, and they basically, they share electrons. And the cool thing about this one is each atom normally has four electrons that it can use and share. And because if you look at this, each corner or each atom is connected to three other atoms anywhere on the molecule, which means it actually has one extra electron that it can share, which makes it pretty special. And um, also, it's a soccer ball polyhedron, so that's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah. Um, They're really fun to play with. We're like dribbling these on our feet in our Project Lead the Way class. It's so fun to do. <laughs> and because they, they float. Yeah, they like, another they're like thing. In the air. Another thing that um, another thing that they can be used for is if they're pressed together between two diamonds, which is ultimately one of the hardest materials. Because on Earth. diamonds are actually made of carbon. And yes, these are made of carbon too. So. They're carbon molecules. If they are compressed <laughs> between two diamonds, they can actually become. They can become a substance that is stronger than a diamond, and these can actually be used to scratch diamonds. So pretty much it's diamond to diamond action, practically. <laughs> yeah. Um, because Which is cool, because this means it's really, really, really hard. Um, and diamond's the strongest substance on Earth. Practically. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's one of them. Um, but yeah. These are awesome buckyballs. Carbon molecules. Amazing. <laughs> so, 
yeah, if you want to get a buckyball, we got links in the description of where you can find them and, and print them out and make them yourself. They're really cool. The I special like thing them. about buckyballs, though, is because they were actually created pretty recently, and they're kind of expensive to create. They are. They're very. Um, <laughs> they're not used for much in the real world, as much as you think they would be, because they're really they they have a lot of um properties that would be easy to use stuff for especially the fact that each atom in this molecule has an extra electron that it can use freely um but yeah but because they're so expensive to make they're not used for much they say in the future if we can make them easier there's a lot of stuff that we could use them for and improve with these especially because of how hard they were we could start building stuff out of these compressed C60 molecules, and I mean it's harder than diamond, and it's also, it's also um. Basically, it's it's a more, it's a more of a renewable source. It's not exactly a renewable source, but there's, these are molecules, so there's gonna be a lot more of this stuff around than there's gonna be actual diamonds. And this this thing is like you do not know how strong it is. The melting point at this. If you search it up, it's about 600 Celsius. That That's extremely hot. Yeah. <laughs> that That's very Hopefully hot. Hopefully you guys joking. understand that. Um, yeah. we're, we're in America. We use a, a lot of this. We use, we, uh, we use a crappy <laughs> system that somehow we had to develop ourselves. Uh, yeah. Fahrenheit. Fahrenheit. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um... <laughs> yeah, so <laughs> anyway, um, we're gonna stop rambling now and um, um end the video. Also, we're sorry that we didn't post a video. We had a lot to do. Um Yeah, we, we got one out. we got caught up in a lot of stuff. And another thing that was a problem is we actually recorded the rocket video and got through it completely and we were at the launch sequence and that's when we found out that SD's the our packaged rocket had a faulty controller and we were unable to actually do the launch completely messed up it, it, it was it was definitely the controller we changed out everything we tried different rockets we tried we different, tried a different spark engine. plugs we tried different batteries like three different types of battery sets we tried everything and we kind of came to a conclusion that it was a remote that the company sent the us. controller was not working which kind of stinks because i really wanted to see one of those launch but obviously yeah and that's a really there. expensive <laughs> kit and it's like Bro, if you're gonna sell this to me for so much, I'd I'd like to have <laughs> things that actually work. I better get something that actually works and has. <laughs> yeah, really cool. So that was one of the reasons that we couldn't post. We were also trying to find stuff to do. We thought about doing an egg drop, but then our new industrial. I'm not necessarily industrial, but it's our a hot, hot glue gun. Our hot glue gun hasn't come in yet, so we weren't. It, we able already to have do that. that. We have a hot glue gun, but it's it really bad. It, doesn't, it wouldn't. It I worked. got it for like seven or eight bucks at like Walmart. It would have <laughs> taken us way too long to record the video with that. Yeah. Thing. We also didn't have that many um, glue sticks to even use. We I probably would have ran out. Yeah. So that that was a lot of reasons why we couldn't get the video out so soon. Um, um we're from sorry, this though. point on, hopefully that doesn't happen to us anymore. We're very sorry. Because um, we're going to be doing a lot of DIY stuff and not necessarily stuff that comes in a package. Yeah. So, yeah. So at that <laughs> point, if it doesn't work, it's our fault. Example, the paddle boat video. <laughs> <laughs> Total of it fail. Um, but anyways. thank you guys for um 28 subscribers to milestone complete. <laughs> we uh we just got our monthly review emailed to us by youtube um hmm it's like 13 or 14 comments 28 subscribers 423 views you guys are doing insane the stemists are <laughs> stemists <laughs> stemists <laughs> also uh catching up with our stem club thing that we were talking about that is um starting soon so expect to see um Completions or compilations, however you say it, on pictures that we take of projects that we're doing. In we there. might do a little like video, like three minute video that'll take. That'll yeah, we can't record too much in there because obviously we're supposed to be focus on focusing on what we're actually doing. 
Um, there are some tournaments that we're going to be doing. There's a lot of Vex robotics. We might record inside the classroom and we might show you around, maybe. There's a lot of Vex robotics <laughs> included with this. Yeah. And, yeah, so you'll see a lot of that. You'll probably see us doing vlogs at, like, the championship where we're, uh, <laughs> fighting with our robots. I don't know if it's fighting. I think they're, they're supposed to perform a specific so, task. Yeah. Um... I mean, it's still cool. Yeah, to way. watch and stuff. BattleBots is our dream, though. We want yes. to do BattleBots. Um, oh, so wait, we're, la we're rambling a lot. <laughs> I'm sorry. We are rambling. Um, but but that's basically all we had to say. Um, the Rocky video didn't make right. it out. We're sorry about that. It looked really cool because we were, we were like so excited. We were so enthusiastic. Yeah, it would have worked. It, like, it would have worked. It would have worked so well. And Frick, we even recorded an intro like two weeks before we recorded the actual video, and it was such a funny intro. Yeah, he was. And now like we can't something. even use it. <laughs> um, um, remember, always comment suggestions. We always need suggestions. We always want to hear from you guys. So remember to do that. But anyway, yeah, that's all we got to say here. Anyways, but thank you all so much for watching this video. Hope you know now what a buckyball is and how to build one. They're super cool. Go look up the patterns. We'll have links in the description. They're super fun to play with, and they're really good juggling balls. We like practicing soccer. Um, <laughs> um, thank you all so much for watching this video. Remember to subscribe to Beyond STEM for weekly videos, and we'll see all you guys in the next one. Bye.